Hey guys, how you doing? This is Rich from Rich TV Live, and today I want to speak to you about Halo Collective Inc. H-C-A-N-F in America. You can see it was actually at two cents in December of last year. Made a huge run up from two cents all the way to 17. That was an epic run and is right now sitting right around eight cents. So it's been tr it's been trending up. That is the U.S. symbol in Canada. You can see here it is H-A-L-O. And you can see that here in Canada, it is also up 5% right now. Traded 770,000 in volume, has 195 million market cap. So it has a pretty big market cap for a penny stock. And it's had a lot of news since we've been covering it recently. You can see that the 52 week low was three cents. That's when I was talking to the company, letting everybody know, I think this could be a good entry point because it's really oversold. That was a great entry point. You could see the high was 21 cents. So if you got in at three and you sold at 21, you made about 700%. So this is a penny stock, super risky. Remember, Rich TV Live is strictly for education and entertainment purposes. Please do your due diligence, do your research before you invest in anything that we talk about here in Rich TV Live. You can see that it is an OTCB QB, QB company, very good, uh, fully reporting company. We like that. You can click on news here. And you can see that they have a steady flow of news, guys, like just a pure steady flow of news. Almost seems like every couple of days there's news. Um, they reported fourth quarter earnings, uh, Collected uh, Halo Collective announced the proposed spinoff of assets to create Halo Tech. Halo Collective reports fourth quarter and full year 2020 results, and it gave guidance. Let's quickly just take a look at that news. Let's take a look at this news. So the fourth quarter combined revenue of 5.1 million, 5 million for the quarter for a company that's at 10 cents in Canada, 8 cents in the US is amazing, to be quite frank, an increase of 88% year over year, despite Winberry revenue not being recognized. So this is a company that's really growing in revenue, record fourth quarter combined adjusted EBITDA up 7.3 million from the previous year, despite carrying some Winberry costs. Fourth quarter gross profit up 2.3 million year over year. Ended the year with higher consolidated gross margin of 20%, up from 11% in 2019. Shrank loss in biological assets to a mere 15% of total revenue, down from 51% loss in 2019. Huge improvement there. Corporate overhead was reduced year over year by 0.35 million to 3.1 million in Q4 2020. Closed 13, that's right, 13 merger and acquisitions in 2020. That's super impressive. Only one of which contributed to material consolidated revenues in 2020, which means we've got a lot to look forward to in 2021. However, many of the remaining are forecasted to contribute significantly in 2021, which will really help the bottom line, which should result in write-ups in 2020 impairments. Ended the year with $3.7 in cash in the bank, currently over 10.5 million of cash with an untapped credit line of 15 million. 2021 guidance higher than any previously reported consolidated revenues. So this is a Halo Collective, H-A-L-O in Canada on the NEO exchange, H-C-A-N-F on the O-T-C-Q-X, highest tier exchange. And in Germany, under the symbol A-9-K-N, Today announced its financial and operational results for three and 12 months ending December 31st, 2020. Company reported revenues of 21.6 million for the year ended December 31st, 2020, a 23% decrease in comparison with the previous year. Profitability, however, was up overall. Adjusted gross profit, excluding fair value gains in biological assets, impairment of inventory and non-recurring costs due to market circumstances was 5.2 million compared to 2.9 million in 2019. The adjusted gross margin in 2020 was 24% in comparison with 10% in 2019. Complete results are reported in the company's consolidated financial statements for the year ended December 31st, 2020. CEO and co-founder Kieran Sadu, I haven't had him on the show recently, but love to have him back on the show shortly, said in 2020, we focused on strengthening our product mix, pruning superfluous, and or declining manufacturing lines and expanding our flower products and availability in Oregon and California. We identified a strong acquisition target in Herbin Industries OR and their brand Winbury Farms. In 2021, Halo expects this will significantly enhance our financial performance 
when we begin consolidating this revenue in 2020. So it seems like 2020 was a year of acquiring their growth. And in 2021, they're going to actually see that show up on the balance sheet. In 2020, we carried some of their expenses, yet consolidated no revenue or margin contribution. That's going to show very, very well and favorably in 2021. We believe there is room to improve our pricing with the addition of higher end cartridges, pre-rolls, and edibles to our lineup, as well as improved potency levels across all product lines thanks to our recent acquired patent-pending technology. In 2020, Halo sold more grams than any other year and achieved a higher gross margin but we must maintain and increase top line growth, even in the face of market changes. We're excited to present our guidance and strategic initiatives, as well as to deliver on the guidance by executing in 2021. Philip Vanderberg, CFO and co-founder continued, 2020 demonstrated Halo's capability to perform on financial metrics, demonstrating the strength of our growth strategy and the potential of our expansive market portfolio. We reduce losses across the board by improving gross margin via cost of goods sold and diminishing losses on biological assets. We slashed overhead expenses and sold more grams than previous years while pricing compressed was experienced. We expect a 180 degree about face with the 2021 outlook. In 2021, we also expect to write up several of our assets impaired in 2021 as they come online and begin operating our balance sheet remains strong. As of December 31st, 2020, the company had unrestricted cash available in the amount of 2.8 million and working capital in the amount of 18.7 million cash used in operations in the three months ended 31st, December 31st, 2020 was 6.7 million. Cash used for investing was 2.5 million and cash raised for finance activities was 9.2 million. Total cash inflow was 0 0.1 million. So great, 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 great numbers, considering this is just getting started. And this is a company that has been really acquiring their growth. And in my opinion, has an incredible future. The only issue I see with this company really is the fact that they've got way too many shares. But outside of that, I think this is a company that's going in the right direction. I'm not going to go through the entire press release, but I wanted to talk to you about some of the key statistics there. This is their website, halocana.com. You can see Halo is a cannabis extraction company that develops and manufactures quality cannabis oils and concentrates, which are the fastest growing segments in the cannabis industry. Want to check out the latest video? Bukilo Bioscience and Wellness is a company that uh, I founded in Lesotho. And having done that, I knew that uh, the next step was for me to look for a strategic uh, partner. And uh, with the partnership with Halo Labs, we have agreed that 10% uh, of our pretext will go towards um, empowering and uplifting the communities that uh, reside around the area where we are growing the medicinal cannabis. And we also, of course, uh, expect to employ a large contingency of women. Operating in SO2 brings a number of myriad of um, benefits. So all these things will be, you know, bring big benefits to the operators. Super cool. And like I said, this is a company that started and really is just growing, to be quite frank. It's a company that's really growing. And let's just take a look, go to the investors page. And scroll down and you can see all the press releases. Now, these are some of the older press releases. Let's go into some of the newer press releases. Let's take a look at some of this news. Let's go back to news. 
And let's take a look at the most recent news release here. Halo Collective announces appointment of Ryan Kunkel, CEO and founder of Cannabis Retailer, Have a Heart as Vice President and Director. So once again, more big news coming out from Halo Labs just this week. We are going to go through all of the news. I just want to take a look here. Okay, so you can go and find their website right here. This is their new website, haloco.com. I'm over 21, so I was showing you guys the older website. Wanted to show you that video. This is the new website. Pretty cool, pretty slick. Haloco.com. And you can see here, there's investment opportunities. You can explore their, explore their portfolio. Global positioning and reach. Halo Collective is built for long-term success. You can see cultivation, manufacturing, distribution, and retail. And you can see Halo Collective's global reach, very impressive. Alberta, Canada, Oregon in the United States, California, Nevada, England in the United Kingdom, Malta in Europe, and Lesotho, Africa. So this is a company that's global, despite the fact that they're trading at 10 cents in Canada and 8 cents in America. Halo Collective is vertically integrated across the globe with streamlined cultivation sites. You can see all these streamlined sites. And then you can follow them on all social media. So let's do that. So let's take a look at their social media pages. You can see here, I'm already following them on Instagram. That's their Instagram. Go back to their website. And we're going to scroll down can see some of their brand portfolio, very impressive brands, Winbury Farms, Hush, Gardeners, and Exhale, just to mention some of the few. And they're also going to be entering the psychedelic revolution. You can see here the lion's mane, which we've heard a lot about from different companies that we've been interviewing. So pretty exciting that they are going to also be entering the psychedelic revolution. I'd love to speak to management about that as well. You can see that they just announced a proposed spin-off of assets to create Halo Tech. Halo Collective reported their fourth quarter earnings. I read a little bit about that to you as well. And you can follow them on Twitter. Just quickly look at their Twitter. Currently following there. And you can follow them on Insta YouTube. I'm currently following them on YouTube. You can follow them on YouTube. And you can follow them on Facebook. I'm currently following and liking on Facebook. So they're everywhere, guys. Like I said, the share price isn't always indicative of what's going on with the business. And let's take a look at their LinkedIn following them on LinkedIn as well. So feel free to follow them on LinkedIn as well. So these guys are literally everywhere and they're growing globally. The share price is really low. Now, always before you invest in anything, do your due diligence, do your research, make sure you're investing in something you truly believe in, okay? Now let's see what they're saying about their 2021 guidance. I just wanna look into that. See what they say about their 2021 guidance. They're breaking down all of the financials. Okay, so here's the 2021 outlook. Let's look into that. So let's think about the future of this company. So the outlook for 2021, three months ending March 31st, 2021. On January 16, 2020, Halo Winbury completed the purchase of certain assets of Herbin OR. This enhanced Halo Collective's revenues for the three months ending March 31st, 2021. Total revenues for the three months ending March 31st, 2021 are projected at approximately 9 million. That is very impressive. 
Year ending December 31st, 2021, management projects revenues of 75 million for the year ending December 31st, 2021. Whoa. That'll be a huge jump of what they just reported, which I just told you guys earlier, was in the 20 millions range. So this would be an, an enormous jump. Gross profits are projected at 27 million with a gross margin of 35%. EBITDA is projected at a loss of $1 million for the year ending December 31st, 2021. Management, management projects positive EBITDA in the three months ending December 31st, 2021. This guidance for the year ending December 31st, 2021 includes the following milestones. I'm not going to go through all the milestones with you. There's many of them. Uh, okay, you know, I'll go through it. Closing the acquisition of three operating stores in Alberta, Canada for High Tide Inc. in April 21st. Uh, April 2021, which is right now, launching of flower shop products and stores in California, May 2021, which is next month, opening the North Hollywood store in June 2021, right around the corner, opening the two additional LA stores in West Hollywood and West Wood that were acquired on February 6, 2021, in June 2021, revenues from harvesting at Bothello in Lesotho, South Africa, Revenues from the acquisition of Nature's Best Resource, LLC, which the company signed an agreement to acquire on March 26, 2021. Revenue contribution from Coastal Harvest, which was not in operation for most of 2020. Acceleration of MDT's revenue flowing following a new distribution and sales agreement with NMC Organization, Inc., DBA, Greenstone Distribution, Greenstone, and closing down the joint venture with Just Quality, LLC in Nevada, to reduce operating costs. So they break everything down here. Very impressive growth for the 2021 outlook. I'm not going to go through all of it, but you guys can look at the news and take a look at this yourself. Um, let's just read a little bit about Halo Labs. Halo is a leading vertically integrated cannabis company that cultivates, extracts, manufactures, and distributes quality cannabis flower oils and concentrates and has sold approximately 9 million grams of oils and concentrates since inception. Halo continues to involve its business and scale efficiently, partnering with trustworthy leaders in the industry who value the company's operational expertise in bringing top-tier products to market. Current growth includes expansion in key U.S. markets, the United Kingdom, and Africa, with planned expansion into the Canadian retail market. Halo is led by a strong, diverse, and innovative management team with deep industry knowledge, and blue chip expert experience. The company is currently operating in the United States and California and Oregon. The company sells cannabis products principally to dispensaries under its brands, Hush, Mohave, and Exhale, and under partnership or license with OG DNA Genetics, Terpogs, doing business as Kittles and Flower Shop, a cannabis lifestyle and conceptual wellness brand in which g Easy, superstar musician g Easy is a partner and key member of Flower Shop. As part of continued expansion and vertical integration in the U.S., Halo boasts several grow operations throughout Oregon and California. In Oregon, the company has a combined seven acres of outdoor cultivation, including East Evans Creek, a six-acre grow site in Jackson County, and Winbury Farms, a one-acre grow site located 30 miles outside Eugene in Lane County. In California, the company is building out Ukiah Ventures, a planned 30,000 square foot indoor grow processing and manufacturing facility, including up to an additional five acres of industrial land to expand. Recently, Halo, Halo partnered with Green Matter Holding to purchase Bar X Ranch in Lake County, developing up to 80 acres of cultivation, which would comprise the largest grow in Northern California. Internationally, the company subsidiary Bothello Biosciences and Wellness PTY Limited Othello is currently cultivating cannabis in Lesotho, which holds one of the most extensive marijuana cultivation licenses in Africa, with a future capacity of up to 495 acres. To further Halo's global presence, the company has recently acquired CPB, CBPM importation and distribution licensing in the United Kingdom via cannabis suppliers Canmart Limited, otherwise known as Canmart. Halo expects the cultivation manufacturing operations of Othello, combined with the importation and distribution capabilities of Canmark, to drive a well-positioned business to serve the UK market. The company has also acquired a range of software development assets, including technology platforms, CanPOS, Canalift, and more recently, 
Canafields. Halo also owns the discrete sublingual dosing technology, Acudab. The company tends to spin off these assets along with its intellectual property and patent applications into its own public company, Halo Tech Inc., by way of a return of capital to Halo shareholders. Huge news for Halo. The guidance for 2021 is enormous. 75 million? Wow. Game changer for Halo. Absolutely impressive. Enormous. So the company, once again, projects revenues of 75 million for the year ending December 31st, 2021. Gross profits are projected at 27 million with gross margins of 35%. EBITDA is projected at a loss of 1 million for the year ending December 31st, 2021. Management projects positive EBITDA in the three months ending December 31st, 2021. The guidance for the year ending December 31, 2021 includes the following milestones, which I told you guys, huge, 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 huge potential for Halo. And this is a company that's just getting started, folks. Literally just getting started. And the upside is tremendous. Absolutely tremendous. Love to know what you guys think. And once again, the big news here for Halo was the appointment of Ryan Kunkel, the CEO and founder of Cannabis Retailer, have a heart as the vice president and director. That just came out this week. Once again, Halo, H-A-L-O in Canada, A-G-E-E-F on the OTCQX exchange, and A9KN in Germany. Let me know what you guys think. If you like this news, if you like Halo Labs, comment down below, share the video everywhere and subscribe. Let me know, do you like this stock? Do you like the upside? Do you like the potential? The only negative I see with this company is that they still need to get to profitability, real true profitability and EBITDA positive, which I believe is coming around the corner. And they got a lot of shares issued and outstanding. Really, those are the only two things that are holding this company back. But outside of that, this company has a chance to be an absolute rocket, global expansion, and huge upside. Hopefully, I can interview and speak with the company soon. And if you guys are not winning, you're definitely not watching. We brought you this pick. We were talking about them when they were at three cents. They're now at 10. They went as high as 21. They're bouncing around. They're really a penny stock still. I think at some point they will do a share consolidation and most likely move to the NASDAQ. That's what the CEO said when we were speaking last, Kieran Sadu. So hopefully I can get an update from Kieran Sadu. You can see they still have a pretty good market cap of 195 million, but the only reason why the stock price is staying down, there's just too many shares issued outstanding. Zero Bore Rich, from to be live. If you're not winning, you're not watching. We bring you the winners and we bring them to you first. What do you think of Halo Collective? I think it has incredible upside. Like I said, it's not perfect. That's why it's trading at eight cents in Canada. Uh, sorry, 10 cents in Canada, eight cents in the US. But very rarely do you find a perfect stock trading at 10 cents. So what's the upside? We just talked about it. Incredible revenue growth, acquisitions that are creative, that'll be hitting the balance sheet. Love to know what you guys think. It's your boy Rich from Rich TV Live. And I'm out. Peace.